Hey everybody, this is Connor Stump from the Springfield Green County Library in Missouri. Uh, I'm so glad that you have taken an interest in participating in the Summer Scares Reading Initiative. So today I'd like to introduce you to the Summer Scares programming guide that Springfield Green has put together to ease the fears of librarians when engaging their communities with the horror genre uh, and specifically Summer Scares titles, whether that be through readers advisory, book discussion groups, or programming. So Springfield Green is lucky enough to have a stellar community relations department. So I'd just like to give a shout out to our fantastic art director, Danny Dye, who did all the layout for this and of course came up with this amazing cover. So when you open up the guide, the first thing you'll find is an overview of what the Summer Scares Reading Initiative is all about. You'll find profiles on our committee and you'll find a profile on this year's uh, Summer Scares Celebrity Spokes Author the incredible Stephen Graham Jones. So the next thing that you'll see uh, is essentially a flyer uh, for all the Summer Scares titles that your library can print out and use however it wants to. So last year's uh, our community relations department created a flyer for the Summer Scares Reading Initiative and they sent it out to all 10 of our branches and most of the branches created book displays with the Summer Scares titles and other horror books. And I heard from a lot of my coworkers that having the list and being able to tout the organizations and the people behind it made them more comfortable engaging with patrons about the horror genre. So each title has been given its own page replete with appeal factors, ideas for book talking the books, uh, read-alikes, sample programs, and book discussion guides. So no matter how much you want to do, how uh, the different ways you want to try to connect your community with the Summer Scares title, you have the tools that you need uh, to do that. The read-alikes, right, that gives you more options for your displays. Uh, and it gives you more options when you're doing a reader's advisory interview uh, for things to suggest to a patron or when that patron comes back and tells you that they really loved the Summer Scares title that you suggested to them. Uh, so I know currently we're living in strange COVID-19 times, and so I'll kind of address that and what you can do about it. But uh, if your library is closed, right, think about how you engage your community with reader's advisory and with book displays digitally. So that might look like your library's homepage. Uh, it might look like staff pics on Instagram, uh, or it might look like uh, videos that you record for your library's Facebook page. And one thing I want to point out is that local news stations are also sort of scrambling for ideas of how to uh, get content. So they would, I'm sure, love to feature book suggestions from the library. So find out who handles community relations, get in contact with that person, uh, and volunteer to create a video for your uh, library social media, and that could be shared through local media. After displays and reader's advisory, the easiest way to engage patrons with the Summer Scares titles is going to be through book discussions. So five years ago, I started uh, Donuts and Death, which is Springfield Green's horror book discussion group. And it has been one of our most popular book discussions and definitely the one that has attracted the most interest from the media and from other libraries. So horror book discussions can be done. They can be popular. Uh, I know that they can sometimes be a hard sell or horror titles can be a hard sell to book discussion leaders, but the reading group guides that are provided will help you feel more comfortable uh, approaching these titles and engaging with patrons about them and it'll help you feel more comfortable when you're approaching your coworkers who lead book discussions about featuring Summer Scares titles, especially if you are wanting to do a series uh, and you need buy-in from other book discussion groups in order to do that. Right now, a lot of our book discussion groups have been tabled. So for the next few months, at least, I would say think about uh, if you can have your book discussions over Zoom or if you can migrate them to Goodreads or uh, through your library's Facebook page. So think about other ways you could hold your book discussions and engage with patrons about these titles. So the largest way, of course, that you would engage your community with the Summer Scares Reading Initiative is through programming, whether that be uh, a single program, a series, or a con. Um, and obviously, right, we're not holding any cons right now, but one thing I want to point out is that part of the uh, intent of the Summer Scares Reading Initiative is to create an ongoing dialogue about the horror genre 
and to give librarians titles that they can feel comfortable recommending to their communities and that they can feel comfortable engaging their communities with, again, through programming, through book discussions. So even if you're not using it right now, it can be used later. Each title has four sample programs, totaling 36 sample programs for all of the nine titles. Uh, and they'll range a little bit when you move from adult to teen uh, to middle grade. While libraries are closed, things like Zoom, uh, Skype, and Facebook Live are going to be your best friends. So think about how you can engage your communities with those and through other social media platforms or through other software. Uh, and I just want to reiterate that the Summer Scares authors are willing to do virtual programs. So if you're interested in featuring one of the authors at your library through a Facebook Live, through a Skype, uh, please reach out to Becky Spratford or JG Faraday or myself and we can help get you connected with the authors. At the back of this guide, you'll find an article that will explain this guide a little bit more. But if you have any questions about the guide or about horror programming in general, please don't hesitate to contact me by emailing me at conradss@thelibrary.org or by following me on Instagram at the Potai Librarian. So I just want to end with a few words of encouragement. I, I know horror programming, horror book discussions can be scary, uh, but by taking an interest in this initiative, I know that you are creative, that you care about your library, and that you care about engaging your community. So just know that you are unique, your voice matters, and you are capable of bringing your creative ideas to fruition. Don't let it scare you.